The way we measure all gases involved with anesthesia machine, including uh, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and anesthetic uh, agents, uh, we use something called infrared absorption spectroscopy. Basically, infrared absorption spectroscopy uh, relies on the fact that polyatomic gases uh, absorb infrared radiation at characteristic frequencies. For example, if you look at uh, CO2 or carbon dioxide versus uh, nitrous oxide, we find that each of them has a different uh, 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 bandwidth or a different wavelength where uh, their absorption is, uh, is, uh, is present. So basically, if we use a filter, and um, basically we can extract this part here to know the or to measure the nitrous oxide and basically use another filter to uh, measure this part here to uh, measure the carbon dioxide uh, in the in the breathing gas. Uh, also for the anesthetic agents, we have each of them having a different uh, shape and a different uh, uh, bandwidth uh, uh, with respect to one another. So basically here, because they have overlap, we measure in uh, five different locations. And basically, based on these five different locations, we can actually uh, uh, solve uh, a few equations and get the uh, concentrations of each one of these. If we have a mixture, if we have only one of them, then we don't have any problem. We just measure that particular uh, uh, measurement that, is, that corresponds to uh, the, the gas in question. The uh, infrared absorption spectroscopy consists of an infrared uh, uh, light lamp. And basically, we enter the, the, the gas sample through a transparent quartz uh, uh, cuvette. And basically, we have a scanning filter that chooses which one of, uh, of the, uh, which one of the bandwidth that we are going to use in measurement. And basically, we have uh, focusing lenses and a detector. And basically, uh, we can actually sometimes use a multi-channel analyzer to compute all of them at the same time. And then once we get that, we can actually use beer lambert law to uh, uh, compute the concentration of each one of them. So basically, this technique is used for all gases except for oxygen. Oxygen has a very different way of, of measurement. 